Hey everybody, Don Dabney, Left Coast Classics, and this is just a really cool 1948 Chevrolet three-window pickup truck with a nice uh, desirable four on the floor speed. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna take you around the truck. I'm gonna take you underneath the truck, but right now we're gonna buckle up because I'm gonna take you for a ride in the truck. Normally I wouldn't take off in the granny gear. I just wanted to show you that it works. It's just a very tall gear designed, I guess, to, to, to climb cliffs. But this truck gets down the road great. It's got, uh, right now we're getting up to about, probably about, it says 40 miles an hour. I think because it has bigger tires on it, I think we're actually doing more like 50. The, uh, all the gauges are in working order. The uh, heater fan is turning on beautifully. The lights all work. It's got an aftermarket blinker that works and um, the horn, which has been switched to below the dash, which is pretty common. this aftermarket stereo personally if I got this truck I'd want to put a stock radio in or, or maybe a retro sound system it turns on but I don't think the antenna is hooked up so it works to that extent but it would look cooler I think if it had a more stock radio or a retro sound system which are quite affordable they're under 200 bucks for an in-dash retro sound Overall, it's, it's just a really nice driving truck. In the morning, you just pull the choke out a little bit, give it a couple pumps, hit the start button on the floor, fires right up and runs super smooth. Brakes, suspension, shifting, it all, it all feels great on the truck. I think these gauges were all rebuilt. They all look beautiful. All right, so we're there we go. Just a really cool 48 Chevy truck. Um, if you're not on my website and you're seeing it somewhere else, if you head over to my website, Left Coast Classics, that's left, opposite of right, not my politics, just my location. Um, anyway, over there, there's a secondary slideshow feature. Probably give you another couple hundred photos than what you're seeing right now. I also have all these photos in high resolution in my Dropbox, so if you just 
hit me up, text me, and ask me, and I'll send you a link to those so you can really zoom in on a speck of dust. It's a great truck, uh, so check all that out. Um, check us out on the social media sites. I don't post a lot, but I post a little bit here and there, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, probably going to launch Telegram and some other, you know, different ones here soon. Our YouTube channel is now at like the 8 million mark. I can't even believe it. So that's kind of cool. You might want to go subscribe and, you know, check that out because I, I take you for a ride in a new car all the time. Not a new one, a new old one. And uh, three episodes of Wheeler Dealers back in the Ed China days in 2013, I guess we were the last uh, uh, season with Ed. We did a 57 Ford Thunderbird, that one right here. And then in 2018, Mike came up to buy a really weird Rover 3500S P6 sedan. Many of you may not know what that is, but it's, you have to be a British car guy to love that thing. Uh, ended up leaving with a Lancia Fulvia, a 72 Lancia Fulvia. That's this one right here. And uh, the most recent episode aired in December of 2020, and that was a really cool one owner Triumph TR4, like a 90,000 mile car. That was a great car and an unusual episode too, not like all the others. So check those out. If you have any questions, you can always call me or text me. My number should be down in the description. And again, head over to Left Coast Classics to see a lot more information on this cool truck. I, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything I didn't point out. Oh, it's got an electric wiper set up too. So that's a nice uh, upgrade. And like I said, the gauges all look to have been rebuilt. It's got a new factory OEM style rubber mat and uh, an aftermarket uh, blinker set up. So it's, it's just a cool truck, really functional, easy to drive. All right, thanks for checking it out. We'll see you around on the next one. All right, let's head underneath the 48 Chevy. And with the tire carrier out, you can really see everything really well. It's got a nice undercarriage. It's in good shape, it's nice and solid. It's not a leaky truck. You can see it's nice up there inside the inner rockers and back at the corners. Just uh, overall, just really original, unrestored, and nice. I have my trusty weak magnet that I like to walk around the lower part of the truck with, with you with. With the magnet with you. <laughs> Really minor stuff right there. I think that's all I saw in the whole thing, but there we go. Sticking really well. You can hear it grabbing the metal. And we got a little filler there in this lower corner, but if you saw the underside portion of the video, which I just did, it's pretty good under there. I've seen them a lot worse. Of course, you can see the inside of the fenders from underneath, but let's come back here. Maybe a little sum in there. Pretty impressive. Let's go around to the other side. We're on the driver's side now. Oop, somebody forgot to color sand that out. That's the only run I see in the entire truck. We might do that. That's so easy to fix with some uh, eh, 1500, 2500 and a polish. 
And while it's sticking down here, it's a little weak, and you can see a crack there. But again, better than many we see. So, not bad at all.